In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make these three simple car effects for your next video in DaVinci Resolve. The first effect we are going to look at is this backfire effect. Open your clip in Fusion and add an effect called Planar Tracker. Make a rectangle around the object you want to track. For this case, I believe the car's logo is close enough to the exhaust pipes to work. Change tracker to hybrid point slash area and set the reference time. Then, track the video. After that, change the operation mode to corner pin. Drag your flame clip into the node section and connect it to the planar tracker. Then open the keyframes window and fix the timing of the explosion by dragging it on the timeline. After that, add transform for the flame. Increase the size and use the corner pin to get the right perspective for the flame. Add Luma Keyer to get rid of the background. Once you like how it looks, you can go ahead and copy the node tree to the side. Use the transform to position it on the other exhaust pipe. Nice! You can also change the timing of them in the keyframe window if you don't like them firing at the same time. For the next effect, I'll show you the much recommended headlight effect. Once again, start by opening the clip in the color page. Mask out the car. Then track the mask and pray to God it does a decent job. If not, click on this frame button and fix it manually. Finally, when it's done, right-click on the node section and add alpha output. Soften the mask a little in the masking window. Now copy the clip and remove the mask from the original clip. Compound clip the upper clip and copy it again. Open it in the color page. Mask out the headlights like I do. Track the mask and fix it manually if needed. Click on this icon to make a new mask then disable the old one and mask out the other headlight. After that, track the mask and fix it if needed. Make sure both of the masks are selected and add alpha output. Now the top clip should only have the headlights visible. Highlight both of the masked clips and create a new fusion clip and open it in the fusion page. Delete all the unnecessary nodes and position them similarly to how I do. Find an effect called Rays and connect it to the headlight layer. 
Play around with the settings until you like how it looks. Then keyframe the center and adjust it so it looks realistic and doesn't change the direction of the flares. Now select the bottom clip and reduce its opacity to get that darker background. If you want to make the flares more visible, copy the nodes and paste them to the side. For the last effect of this video, I will show you how to make this RGB logo effect. Open your clip in Fusion and copy the media in Node. Add a merge and a transform and connect them. Drag a polygon node for the media in. Open the media in in the left preview window so we can see what we are masking. Invert the polygon and make a mask around the logo. Go through the video and fix the mask manually since this doesn't have the ability to track. You only need to manually track it to the point where you want the effect to start. Invert the polygon again and increase soft edge. Make a keyframe for center on the last frame you tracked. Copy the nodes two times. Go to the last frame and adjust the center value to get a similar effect to mine. Find Edge Detect. Play around with the values until you like it, then change Mode to Grayscale Edges. Keyframe Edge Color and adjust the end and start colors so you will get this color fade effect. Copy the Edge Detect to the other logo too. Then find Glow, change the settings to something you like, and copy it to the other one. To get rid of this glow under the logo in the beginning, select the Merge node and keyframe its blend so it fades up. Repeat the process for the other logo. Now, you can adjust the curves in the spline window or compound clip it and make a boomerang speed ramp to it. I won't go into detail about the speed ramping, but I will leave a video on how to do it. That's basically it.